we go directly to Europe, the, uh, uh, the final terminal of the, of the Belt and Road Initiative with His Excellency Ambassador from Portugal, Mr. Henrik uh, Silveira Borges. Welcome. Thank you, uh, thank you very much for this uh, kind uh, invitation, as uh, was said by His Excellency the Ambassador of uh, China, uh, now Belt and Road seems to be hot, uh, no second meaning of course. <laughs> uh, well, uh, uh, again, I'm, I'm very happy to be here and I want to thank uh, the uh, kind invitation to uh, speak on the uh, Portuguese uh, experience. Uh, and the cooperation with uh, BRI. Uh, His Excellency Ambassador Guy Kong Yu, Ambassador of China, Excellencies, uh, Distinguished uh, Vice Chairman of uh, BRICS, Mr. Stephen Brower. Uh, on December 5th, Portugal and China signed a memorandum of understanding on cooperation with the, within the framework of the Silk and Road Economic Belt and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road Initiative. Allow me to highlight uh, the following aspects including, uh, included in this MOU. First, as stated in its preamble, it aims at denouncing the comprehensive strategic partnership between Portugal and China. Secondly, as also stated in the preamble, it acknowledges the role of the EU-China Connectivity Platform as the main forum for fostering synergies in infrastructure development between China and the European Union. In this context, the two sides support the synergies between the BRI and priorities identified in the Investment Plan for Europe and the EU strategy on connecting Europe and Asia, including the trans-European networks, which were already mentioned here. The MOU also acknowledges the intention of the Portuguese government to promote bilateral cooperation with China in accordance with international rules and standards and the, the obligations uh, arising from Portugal's membership of the European Union. Other provisions of the MOU reveal, to my mind, to our mind, its forward-looking, future-oriented character. Uh, inter alia, let me highlight some of these that illustrate this, as I said, forward-looking character of the MOU. Uh, first, the two sides' intention to promoting growth of the blue economy by deepening the blue partnership. By the way, Portugal, as the largest European uh, Economic, uh, exclusive economic zone in the, within the European Union. So that is rather important for us. Uh, uh, item, uh, their willingness to foster cooperation and exchanges on maritime infrastructure connectivity, taking into account the role of the port of Sines, uh, south of Lisbon, about 100 kilometers from Lisbon, and other Portuguese ports and infrastructures. The two sides state their commitment to achieve low carbon economies promoting R&D, developing electric mobility and the strategic rail connections within the trans-European networks. The MOU reflects Portugal and China's shared preoccupation to ensure a balanced implementation of their cooperation, notably through a careful evaluation of the social and environmental impact of the projects carried out, the promotion of local employment and due consideration of financial uh, sustainability. Now, I would like to emphasize that the signing of this MOU took place against the background of the remarkable developments that have marked the relations between Portugal and China in the last decade. China and Chinese companies now hold important positions among our major foreign partners, having carried out significant investments in sectors such as energy, insurance, banking and health. Let me also highlight 
the fact that some of these investments took place during the recession that hit Portugal and other European economies in the wake of the global financial crisis followed by the Eurozone crisis. The positive role played by China and the confidence shown in the Portuguese economy will not be forgotten. China did not behave as a fair weather friend. We are firmly committed to strengthen our relationship with China in a balanced, harmonious and mutually advantageous fashion. Portugal is a founding member of the Asian Infrastructure and Investment Bank. We welcome the role that Macau already plays in furthering the cooperation between China and Portuguese-speaking countries. The visit of President Xi Jinping to Portugal in December 2018 and the visit of President Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa to China in April 2019 to participate in the second forum on the Belt and Road Initiative reflect the excellent relations existing between the two countries. Two final notes. One about history. Portugal and China enjoy a long-standing secular relationship. We envisage that relationship as a confidence-building and invaluable asset to deepen our bilateral relations. Finally, Portugal and China both share the goal to achieve a multipolar world, more equitable and firmly committed to sustainable development. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Excellency, uh, I think Dr. Dodd's position is represented.